Good morning. All right, guys, so quick intro since you know me and I know you. A um, little bit about Jonna. I met her back when I was pregnant with my first son in 2014. She has been helping me with back pain um, for years and years that I struggle with. Uh, I had an injury about two summers ago where I literally had a really bad herniation. Couldn't walk for three months. Went to Jonna's office. Drove an hour to get there. Um, three times a week because she is like a miracle worker for me honestly she helped me so much so I snotty cried in her office was worried I would never walk again um, and now hey here we are at burn boot camp doing burn workouts so um, she's awesome if you guys suffer from any knee pain I highly recommend a discovery session with her it's free for burn members check it out um, so that you can be pain-free during camp because it really is a game-changer hi Cherie all right ladies so give us a few minutes stay on live and um, we're gonna get started here all right and I'll walk you guys around. We're actually, if you have any questions during the live, feel free to type them in. John is going to be interacting with you guys and answering your specific questions, which is awesome. Um, to give you some quick tips on how to help with your knee pain, even like today, get a little relief. All right. All right. So hang 10 with us. We're going to get started in a sec. Dying during a workout. Yeah, just dying. We do have little. Oh, what are The workshop. So if everybody wants to wood chat, they can do something. Bring it up. Her smoothie. She has nothing. Look right here. Look at that smoothie. Oh, yeah. It's like If you guys want to type in the chat, just the email address that I can send this to if you guys want it. That'd be awesome. Why does it look so easy Thank when you guys you. do it? I mean, Practice. Mm -hmm. Is it backwards? No, you got it. That's it. Right. The hardest part of the... Oh, the like the there you go, there, there you go. Oh, Good. She has more hair than you. So you just got to shave the side. There you go. <laughs> All right. That's it. Test it. Turn it on. Okay, right, let's, do, let's do the other. She's doing it. Yeah. You can do this. This is like making me hot. Like, let's put it on. Well, she asked us to turn the fans off, and now she's hot. I, I turned the heat off today, basically for Gargi, because I know she, she likes to be very cool in here. Yeah, I Every day, guys. Can we open the door? Uh, I'm ready to send the door. They're just getting set up here. Okay. Here's your burn fam hanging out. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> and there's some peeps on Zoom, too. Ladies? I can say ladies, because I say you're all ladies in here. <laughs> There you go. The hardest part of being a physical therapist is really learning how to use a microphone. Yes, That's what totally, we. <laughs> totally there you go. You're good. And how does it stay up? Just passion, just hope, like love. Like if I poof my hair, maybe it'll stay up. You're good. It's fine. We can hear you. Just Ooh, pushing against your face. This is the look. Yeah, this is it. This is the look. That's it. That's it. Totally good. It. Good to go, girlfriend. All right, so I am actually... Ooh, this is good. Hey, Christine, right. we're just about to get started here you with Jonna. Zoom. You guys over here. Thank you for coming. This is uh, um, Jonna Migliani, Toy Physio, Physical Therapist. I want to make sure that everybody has their worksheet. If you guys don't have it, did, does everybody have their worksheet? If you don't, type it in in the message and someone will help you get it because you can download it. Um, you can also, throughout this... Oh, oh, that's right. that's so, make sure you guys have a, do you guys, does everybody have a worksheet? Amber, please, you can get some worksheets. She can get it, help you guys. And a pen. There's little empty spaces because everybody learns a little different, and I want you to make sure to be engaged. It's boring to stand up here and talk. Mm -hmm. So, be engaged, raise your hands, um, write things down. Most of the relevant information is already there, so we'll get started. Um, Good morning. Oh, this is me, and I can still hear myself. I need my little guys. So, welcome. Everybody's over there. We're here. It's okay if you want to come over. You guys, I don't think you'll be. No, you won't be. Able. Yeah, and during camp, nobody wants to be in the front, do they? No. I end up being there because I show up like a couple minutes late, so it's like fine. I guess I'll stand in the front. 
Um, all right, so everybody's here. Talk about knee pain workshop. That's the one we're talking about. So either because you have knee pain, if you shut up. Either because, no, I don't have knee pain. I'm here with my friend for support. <laughs> or because you are gathering information for someone else. But either way, it's not just about decreasing the knee pain, but it's also about performance. Can you squat lower? Can you jump higher? So that's another thing. So everybody's ready, pads. All right. So we're here at Burn. So I want to know why are you guys members? Of, why do people come to Burn Boot Camp? Why do why? why? That's a great question. Huh? My answer would be mentally and physically healthy and stronger. But I think we should really ask Susan. Mentally. Because I think Susan will will give us a good answer. Susan. <laughs> It feels good. I was gonna say, oh, it feels good. I don't know. It feels really nice. <laughs> great. It does. It does feel great. Yeah. So, um, basically, that's kind of why I'm here. I started in January, and uh, I want to help you guys learn about this knee pain thing. So we're all about here the knee. So let's get started with this paper. What is what is what is so special about this knee, right? What is the point? Its main purpose is to bend. That's the little. And these one bend, right? But then if it bends, it has to straighten, right? And then it also has to bear weight, right? And it's not just the knee that's bearing weight, the ankle, the hip, the pelvis, they're all bearing weight. And so it's not just a simple, a simple bending and straightening. And actually, I broke my super stretchy pants. I was sure, I made sure <laughs> that I motioned my legs so you guys could see. I don't do that very often. <laughs> and the shaving, that doesn't happen very often either. <laughs> but good people can see. All right, so it doesn't just, oops, balance, right? It doesn't just bend and straighten, right? It's not just a simple hinge joint. The two bones in the bottom, and if you guys have the, um, the other little paper where I put some pictures, it actually rotates. So we have the knee. We get the little picture. Oh, actually, I have the little other one in here. Um, I think Amber has it. All right, that's okay. But in the bottom, there's two bones, and the bigger bone, the tibia, that one actually rotates so that when we twist to do something, if we keep everything straight, that femur on top is rotating. Oh, beautiful. No, I just wanted to, I like to see what people are looking at. Um, so it also rotates, right? And on top of that, um, at below it, the patella, or the name in the street is the kneecap, <laughs> right? The patella actually floats on top. So it's a little triangle, right? You guys can see the little picture, a little close up of the little, it's a little triangle, right? And it actually floats right over top of the other two bones. It really doesn't hinge. It's just a floating thing, right? So that kneecap actually increases the amount of force that the quad can produce, simply because I won't get into physics, but that's how. So what happens with that? We, have, we can produce more force, right? And so how does it do that? Oh, well, how do we do that? It relies on ligaments, it relies on um, cartilage and bones. So, the ligaments you can see, so in the picture, there's ligaments around the outside, there's tendons in the bottom, the muscles attached to the top, and here we go. And that's the knee. Simple, right? Uh, good, I'm glad you guys. All right, um, so, who is this girl, Jonna, with her crazy hair? <laughs> Why is she here at birth? All right, so I was introduced as this physical therapist. That's right, I'm a physical therapist. Um, I went, I did my undergrad at Temple. I did Temple all the way. I'll be paying for Temple for 20 more years. <laughs> so undergraduate in exercise physiology, graduate for a doctor of physical therapy, uh, what else? After that, after my between my undergrad and grad school work, I did I was a strength and conditioning coach, coaching athletes for speed, agility, power, all that stuff. Went back to grad school. Oh, I got bored. Back to grad school. <laughs> now I wanted to work and teach all the people. The human body is like the coolest thing. I can totally get all nerdy about the human body and how it works. 
So I said, oh, let's, let's work on the injured body. Went to grad school, and I was like, wow, this is great. I get to work with injured people. I don't really know anything. There's so much to learn. I started working because I used to row in the, uh, an undergrad. I started out my physical therapy practicing at uh, right down here where I don't know, it used to be a sports PT institute. And we used to work with the um, national team rowers, and it was pretty cool. And then I just sort of seeing all the people, I got bored again. I was like, oh, I need something else to do. Let me go for my, um, <laughs> let me go for my uh, specialty. So I did a residency at Temple. I mentioned, remember, I'm going to pay for Temple for a long time. <laughs> did my residency at Temple um, in uh, specializing in orthopedics and manual therapy. And then I realized, you know, I worked, I think, Oh, that's right. Children came along. <laughs> and that's when we met. That's when we met. Different practice. Um, kids came along. I was pregnant and sick. And I was like, oh my God, I can't do all this. Um, and I realized that just little by little, I was like, I know all these things now from this residency. All these hands-on techniques, all these movement things from being a trainer. And it's like, I, I don't have time. I have like three patients over here. Believe it or not, I scream across the room all the time. And I'm yelling at someone how to do something. It's like, there's got to be a bigger, a better way. And, um, you know, a little bit later, actually, in the drive over here, I realized that it's not really four years. It's really five years that I started Fluid Physio. Wow. And um, I decided, I was like, you know what? This isn't, uh, there's got to be a better way. So on the side, I had that was I just had my second daughter, and on the side I was like, okay, I'm gonna start fluid physio, but I can't do it in the same way as the other practice, cause not. Nah, nah. And then so I'm gonna go to their houses. And you came to my house. I came to your house. Yeah. Yes, I see it, and I was like, oh, I remember that couch mm -hmm. and your squats back then. I still have a video of this. <laughs> Anyways, um, because a big part of what we do is observing movement. So, long story short, I didn't like the other practice. They found out I had a pra another, like, my own business, and they said, oh, you have a website? How could you have a website? I'm like, oh, that's what businesses do. I'm like, fine. So they kind of let me go, and that was the best thing ever, because then all of my energy could go to fluid physio, which is, huh, fluid physio, that's what I said. <laughs> um, so, one of the things is at fluid physio, that's kind of like, you came back. I yeah. came back to you, because mm -hmm. my genetics. Your genetics. Are flawed. Yes. And then I was watching Sarah. And anyways, so remember how I told you guys that I get bored every three years or so? <laughs> I started Blue Physio. Here you go. And then now it's been, I thought it was four, but oh, the pandemic hit, so that's why I haven't gotten bored yet. But, um, but anyways, then I saw Sarah from when she came back in with the syndrome. I was like, wow, she was telling me about this. She was looking for spaces, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, that's a good space. And since I'm from around here, I was like, yeah, go over there. Oh, that's a cool space. And I was like, wow, that sounds really cool. This burn boot camp for girls. That's like <laughs> And we were just working on like basic spots and then moving on to jumping. And then, so I was really inspired by how hard Sarah was working through all this. And, you know, moving along, pandemic, everybody knows all that boring stuff. <laughs> I had my own issues too. And so I was like, I, I was ready to start again. So January was like, that's it, I'm gonna do it. It wasn't because of January, it was because of life. And I signed up for Blue, and I was like, wow, this is so fun. And I realized that when I started Blue and Physio, it was, it was all about the patients. I wanted to get them back. I wanted to have them really reach their goals. But it wasn't just about the patients. It was about who worked with me. I was having so much fun. I was you know, playing fun music and just really getting people back to what they wanted. So I wanted to create an environment for everyone. So physical therapists, um, my office managers, and I was like, wow, this is, this is great fun. So back to where we are today. I was like, wow, during the weekend, this is like good time. Everybody's, you know, and I realized I knew Sarah was gonna be a great community partner because I love community things. We do a lot of community stuff with Blue Physio. So here we are. Today. Here we are. I Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I, know. I, I definitely all the women out there who have their own business, who have kids, and who still make time for themselves, super awesome. Yeah. And I think really we need to support each other because it's not easy. 
but it's super fun. <laughs> so, whew. That's our story. That's our story. That's why I'm here. So, thank you, Sarah, for providing Sarah and Danielle. You guys came together beautifully. For sure. And she's watching from Facebook, so. Yes, Anyways. Um, so, that was enough, right? <laughs> what a story. So, let's stand up. Let's have everybody stand up. Now we're going to do something. You might need to take off your jacket for this. You can do this at home, too, guys. Stand up. Um, you know we're not going to let you sit through this whole workshop. Remember I said that a lot of it was movement and we watched movement? Stand up at home. Stand up at home, yes, Sean. Yes, talking yes, to you, girl. I know. There's still All right, D guys. gets a pass because she's in her car. Uh, oh, oh, right. All right, fine. Don't stand up. Yes. All okay. right. So I'm on, I want to see, I know you might have been sitting kind of scratched up, but some of you are actually still kind of warm from the workout. So I just want to see everybody, everybody squat. So let's just do like a nice... Good squat. Good. And I'm just going to look around. Beautiful. All right. And then come back up. And then what kept you guys from going deeper? Is it Paul's crazy workout because he tells you to go deeper every time your quads are really sore? Good, Sharon. And if your quads are really sore, why wasn't your butt sore? It's your butt that's supposed to be working. Not so much your quads, right? And then what happened? Let's try that again. Let's come down. You're gonna make it, you guys get a better view now. Okay, and now we're going to come up. Good. Now I want you to peek down. Can you look at your toes when you're from here? Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. Are your knees kind of coming together? And the other thing, good, stand up. The other thing is, did anybody have pain? I can't say it's not like... It looked painful. <laughs> Discomfort. Discomfort. I don't get it. So tell me your name again. I'm sorry. Tara. Tara. That's right. Tara. So here's what I want to do right now is we're going to go through some movements and then I'm going to collect names because then we're going to, I want to make sure that we address those things. And I know we've asked. Oh, thank you. Oh, Hi. Robin, what an angel. Straight angel. Oh, I put them on the little, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I think the wind from my hair is making noise. I know, that's legit. <laughs> All right, Robin's going to write some survey. Yeah. Yes, I will, Olivia. Uh, Type it out. Yes. Tell me about your issue. So I, I just want to get knee pain all though, because I have to point all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tara's talking about her knee pain that she gets sometimes, and John is going to assess it. Robin said, "Go ahead, Robin. You may write your name up there." You didn't have. You didn't tell me pain. You told me discomfort. Jonna, can I give you some comments from Facebook real quick? Yes. So, Lestiel said lots of pain when she did her squat. Sharon said slight pain behind the patella. And we have a question when you're ready. So, Lestiel said lots of pain with the squat. Okay. Sharon said slight pain behind the patella. Okay. And then Olivia has a question. Okay. We can hold the question. Yes. Cool. I'll give you, I'll give you um, some time, but yep. let's, let's everybody peek at Robin again. Robin has discomfort. Yeah. Right, so okay. tell me about it. Yeah. Tell me about the discomfort. <laughs> The right one, because that's the one you're 
Okay. And uh, uh, I'm using pegs all well enough. I, I was in the foot well, so it's only four steps. Mm -hmm. So that, that oh, is, that's okay. more uncomfortable, or is that painful? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. painful. It's all painful. right. She's giving in, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> She can handle it. She's cool. fun. <laughs> Gargi. Gargi's been waiting for this. Gargi. Gargi. No Gargi. Good. G-A-R-G-I. -G Let's see. We have, from Andrea, pain on the front of my kneecap unless I concentrate 100% on putting weight through my heels only. Okay, that's insightful. Mm. And Sean, pain when getting up off the floor or going up the stairs. Okay, thanks, guys. Guys, nice. Thank you. Yes, so going up. Cool. So jumps. So, Tara and Robin, do you guys have pain also with jumping? Yeah. Or can you jump? Yes, you did. <laughs> Robin's jumping. She's very cold a lot. We can't. All right, I forget. But notice, what are people doing? What does people's pelvis look like? Do they look like they're doing this? Do they look like they're doing this? Right? Are they turning the foot? Are they leaning the shoulder to one way, guarding? Are they even having trouble standing? Right? So, for example, Tara, you have a little bit of this. Tell me your name. Paige. 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 Paige, you guys can't see it, but Paige is kind of like doing one of these. Mm. Even Paul, look at how Paul's shoulders are shifted over his pelvis. Mm. Huh. We got to get him. We got to examine him close. Yeah. yeah, he needs a lot of help. Let's see the other side. <laughs> ah, let's see, we're going to do the other side. Let's see. Now look how much nicer Paul's pelvis is right <laughs> over the shoulders. That's much harder for you, right? Robin, you can't even, like, it, it seems to me that's a little uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. You guys seem to be, you're leaning just a little bit. So these are some of the things. That, now you're looking nice and straight. Yeah. Hmm. Paige, you're still kind of doing a little bit of this. It's like, yeah. you know, and the other thing I want you to notice is, where is your weight? Is your weight on the heel of your foot? The side of the on the side of the foot? On the front of the foot? So hmm. these are things to notice, right? So say you're in camp and you're doing some of these things and you're tired, you're not thinking, 
and like you see your friend across the gym doing like all these like, uh, you're like, no, oh, straight up. Right? We gotta watch out for one another because we have no idea that we're doing some of these stuff. Okay, you guys can sit. Let's go on. So, what are the most common causes of knee pain, right? The first one, most common one is tendonitis. What is tendonitis? Is the inflammation of a tendon. As you see in your little pictures, there's lots of tendons. Lots of tendons. And really, the tendonitis is the acute inflammation. The very first time that you have pain in a tendon, okay? And these itis, if it happens again, let's say, oh, it, it got a little swollen, it goes over a little, little tough workout. The next time it happens, it's no longer an itis. If it happens a few late weeks later, it's an oosis, tendinosis. Mm. The changes in the cells, the cells actually change. They no longer become as flexible as they used to be, so we now call it a tendinosis because they're not going to be as flexible as the brand new cells. So if it becomes chronic, that's a much tougher problem to address. And usually, it's a result of the hip not being able to control the movement, right? Because remember, the knee is bending and straightening and supporting. And if your hip above can't control the movements, what's going to feel it is the knee because you're standing up. Hmm. So usually you can have inflammation in the front or that IT band part. Pardon me. That's where it can happen, right? But again, it's usually going to come from the hip, right? So you guys can see. If I stand like this, or if my squat is ever so slightly turned in, turned in, ooh, that hurt. <laughs> um, that you're going to feel, because all these structures, all the tendons on the outside, they're going to be overstressing, and that's the hips not controlling that movement, right? Same thing that if, okay, most likely it's the hips, but guess what? If your ankles don't have the mobility, that's another part. But, oh, from the side. My ankle can lean forward. Oh, that's going to cause issues at the knee just because of the forces. And the tendons are going to get inflamed because they got irritated and that's that. So, the second thing, we have meniscal tears. Sounds like they're, you know, you mentioned the surgery, but what is the meniscus? So, check out in your page. Right, so the meniscus is really a thick piece of cartilage. Here, you guys can see it. It's a thick piece of cartilage that cushions your bones from one another, okay? And so the meniscus is kind of like a little moon-shaped thingy. So it's kind of like, so this is basically, if we take the knee and we open it up and we look down, okay? So we have another little moon-shaped thingy and then the whole outside, I have no marker somewhere. The outside of the meniscus has tons of beautiful um, circulation, blood flow. It's great all on the outside. But we're not just rotating on the ends. On the outside, this part, all of this inside does not. So oftentimes, depending on where that meniscus tears, that's where they might go in. And the surgery that they usually do, like if there's a little piece that kind of sticks out, if it's in the inside of the meniscus, well, can't do much about it. They just go in, clean it up, and now you have less meniscus. It's not, they don't just take that, they clean up the whole surface. And think of a meniscus, have you guys ever had little hangnails? Everybody mm -hmm. has little hangnails that stick down, and it's like, you want to pull it, but then don't pull it, wait until you get home to like really cut it. That's kind of what a meniscus is. A meniscus tear. They can be, oh, let me make sure you got it. Okay, so the meniscus. It's a cartilage that cushions the weight bearing surface. That's the one. And what I was about to get into is that they can be traumatic. Like you just had a bunch of weight and, and you were about to do a super long jump and you fell kind of funny. Or if you played sports, they come in and they hit you and they can be traumatic or degenerative. Over time, Believe it or not, we wear down. Yeah. So Tell me. Just, little by little, if you don't have good control of your squats and you keep doing this and this, the inside of your knee, the medial meniscus is the most common one that gets 
worn out the quickest. Johnna, can I ask a question about the meniscus? Yes. Aurelia asked, can the meniscus be replaced or regrown? It, can, it cannot be replaced. Okay. Can we replace the meniscus? I'll get into the replacement in the next one. Okay. However, the meniscus can be um, repaired. Repaired, okay. Only if, and they really do this on like young people. Well, young people. I'm young. Young people like us. <laughs>
thought was cute. And when someone says, oh, um, patholofemoral pain syndrome, okay, well, just inflammation of different structures of the knee. One of the little structures that we didn't quite talk about, it's bursa. Okay, so we go back to our little diagram here. Bursa are basically little cushions, little cushions of, and you can't really see them, this isn't, that's because I planned on drawing them. I didn't get to. But anyways, um, we have the bones. The bursas are little pockets of fluid. So we have the tibia here, sort of. Then we have, we're gonna do a right knee. This is the fibula. And then we have the femur. And the patella is kind of here. So you have ligaments over here. That's the lateral, collateral ligament, right? And then we also have the muscles. So again, this is the right one. So we have hamstring muscle actually coming here. And guess what else comes all the way down here? That IT band hmm. goes all the way up there. There's a little bursa over here that pushes the tendon from the bone. And then on this side, we have actually two hamstring muscles, because there's three hamstrings. They go all the way up there. The tendon comes here and attaches to the bone. And you have little bursa, not just one. Sorry, I have other colors on over there. Not just one, but a couple of them. Oh, thank you, Amber. Who okay. made the bursas right? Amber, oh, Amber, will you hold this for me? So. Just so they can see the picture. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just so they so can be. The bursa, little pockets of fluid that cushion the bones and the tendons from each other. Really, it's cushioning the tendon. Then there's the tendon, then there's another little bursa, and another little tendon, and then you have There's a little bursa back here that cushions that patella because above, actually, remember the quad attaches here. My favorite muscle. Yeah. And then we have the there's a little the patellar tendon. Oh, I'm sorry, that's supposed to be blue. The patellar tendon here, right? So again, there's bursas at different places. Thing here, we have ligaments in the back. No, oh, there we go. It's pretty good art. Yeah. Yeah. That's very impressive, yeah. <laughs> so Better than I could have done. Oh, something swollen because you have no control. And the swelling part, it doesn't matter. It doesn't show in the image. The, the x-ray or radiograph is going to show you the arthritis or the bone structures. But other things are swollen, so go to PT. Okay. But So in physical therapy, we have to figure out what is swelling. And it doesn't really matter exactly what is going on, but we just need to figure out how do we not get it angry and really change the movement because whatever it may be if we address the hips so many things are going to get better right we address the ankles so you can put it back in thank so, you let's check out them to see that picture we've got actually a perfect here. Thank you. Leave this here. okay so what do you guys think so those were the four major things that happen with the knee and if we look at the tower of the knee okay now one of the things that i skipped before is arthritis usually has more pain when going up on the stairs. Okay. Aha moment for Robin. <laughs> it's not always, but guess what? Arthritis starts happening in our early 30s, depending on the sport, it starts happening. <laughs> Believe it or not, arthritis in the lower back starts in your late 20s, so how do we stop this? Me. Um, Les DL also said that she has the pain when going up the stairs, so. So that's usually arthritis or wear of the back of the patella. Okay. Is it tendon? I'm sorry? Arthritis in Does it have any? Oh, her you know what? You chose the wrong parents. <laughs> Darn it, Gargi. Yes. Absolutely. That's, that's sort of like, that's, that's the parents you chose. <laughs> Uh, that's what I think.
think? You gave him the white hairs. <laughs> You smart cookie. Oh, scores points. <laughs> Going down the stairs, it smells like your penis is Because, or, or, it could be, yeah, because it's the weight bearing stuff, right? So as you go down, you have to decelerate your body from coming down, right? And the angle, I know you guys can kind of see, but the angle at which you put the knee, it's one that is not the most fun for. Uh, Cartilage issues. Hmm. Right? So that's that's not to say that that doesn't mean that it's not a bursitis or a tendonitis. They kind of come back and forth, but oftentimes going down, it's more of a tendon issue or a meniscus issue. It, it could be either way. Um, so, question. So, what my pain does happen when I go up is so I'm guessing I'm not going to have happy elderly lives. No! <laughs> Tara's worried about not being a happy old woman because of her knees. <laughs> Stubborn. Beautiful. Tell me, um, tell me your name again. Jordan. 
Jordan, she has a very nice spot. She's going a little bit forward, and I would love, you know, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that squat, Jordan. You know this is Paul's wife, right? No, I didn't. Oh, this is Paul's wife. Oh, Jordan, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes, yes. The lovely Jordan. Demo girl for life. Paul, we stand in front of you. You're going to stand over here. And we're all going to... He loves the attention. So, yeah, show me his spot. The same thing you were doing over there. So, very nice. His hips are super flexible. He actually... Wait, wait. His hips are super flexible. He actually doesn't bend too much from his back. And his ankles don't really bend too much. So it's okay. 20. 20. He's an old geezer. Okay. But that's, that's the idea. Ready? And then let's get Jordan. Oh, they're going to have a squat off. It's a squat off. Jordan's going to crush him. <laughs> face to face. All right, we all know who's going to win this battle. What do you know between the two of them is different? Okay. She has a little bit nicer curve in her back. Right? Good. She's actually on the screen, but she's actually loading up her hip muscles better than Paul over Uh-oh. Paul's loading up his joints. We might have to hire a new head trainer at Burn Princeton. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jordan's taken. So don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. I actually, this is not the purpose of the talk, but I can just get to that movie a lot. Woo! That was impressive. Air fives. Under pressure. Yeah, so that's what I mean. It depends. So thank you. You're welcome. Well, couple squat goals. Yeah, go again. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You were in that squat for a couple of seconds. Where did you feel? What was burning? I feel like here. Uh huh. And a little bit of the. Perfect. A little bit of the tushy. Quads. What did you burn? Quads. The quads. And he's not loading up his hips. Oh, I knew it. That's the idea. Is when you do a lot of things at camp, you want to feel your glutes. Lots of squats. If you feel a lot of quads, it's because you're loading your quads. All that takes is back a little bit, a little rotation through the pelvis, feel the weight through your heels. Mm -hmm. So let's take this. If you guys are having pain, you should not be having pain. Let's everybody go back into a little bit of a squat. Remember, hips back. Think hip hinge. Hinge. And I want you to take a moment to rotate a little bit. That's it. Go up. Good. Separate your knees a little bit. Make sure you're having. There you go. Come up a little bit. There you go. That's hard. Come up a little bit. Don't go so deep, Tucker. There you go. Just load here. No, I can't do that. Was that painful on the knee? In the ankle. Ah, oh. The ankle is not letting you do that. You didn't even tell me about your ankle, sir. Yeah, but you didn't tell me there. On, on leg. All right, Tara, you need to go to her office tomorrow. That's it. You have a lot. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me rotate you, Zoom. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. That's going to be Haley's new nickname, Puffy. Puffy. Oh, hey, Puffy. 
there's definitely something going on with your, you don't want to bend down and wait on your left knee. Yeah? So you're back on the left knee. John is kind of a PT, but kind of a psychic, so... Mm-hmm. She's trying to roll out because she doesn't and then come up. All right. So thank you. You guys can sit Sharon said this is great seeing the corrections. Yes. Just so you know. That's the idea, is little corrections. So we're gonna get back to that. Let me Oh Donna, real quick, can I ask another question real quick? From Diane on Zoom. She said, How much of this is hip anatomy male versus female? Mm -hmm. Good question. That's great. It's because you have the, oh, sorry, uh, Facebook. Um, here, take the pack out real quick. Yeah. No, no, you don't take it all the way out. It's oh. when this touches this. Oh. So if you just, so maybe yeah, maybe. there you go. You can put it in, but just, yeah, lean it. And then just put this guy over here. Sorry. I'm very intimate today with you. All right, there you go. Good. You're good. Childbearing hips, Sharon. So here's the difference. Oh, I love you. Yes, I'll ask your question, Olivia. Don't worry. I didn't forget you. The angle of the hip joint is slightly different. Why? Because we're meant to make another human being. We're meant to carry and make babies. So they're just like wider. So with squats, you know, oftentimes uh, some people will say, oh, you have to keep your feet perfectly aligned. I can't do that. I can't do that. That's because my hips are just slightly up. So it's totally fine to just bring your feet out a little bit. So you can get a more comfortable movement through your squat. You can try it too. You guys can stand up wherever the question was from. Try lining up your feet perfectly straight. How low, how low can you go? I can't. Like my hips just don't. If I line up, then I can keep going. Okay. So that's another thing. That's a great question. Um, can I ask? Two, we have two questions from Facebook. Okay. So Olivia says, I have pain in my right knee and it's worse at night. It's been like this since October or November, and I have no idea why. I can't recall anything that I specifically did. I'm a runner and have never had issues, but it's getting annoying. What could it be? It literally hurts when she sleeps. It's um, the telephone girl pain syndrome. Okay, boom. <laughs> no, so I know. Later in the day, symptoms that are later in the day are probably related to either weight-bearing surfaces or tendon issues. Okay. Come on, Gargi. You can roll that puppy up. It's hard when you have beast calves. It's hard. G.I. Yeah. Gargi. It's okay. We forgive you, Robin. Okay. So, you had the pain with the jumps and endurance, and it was more your right knee, but you went up. Yeah. See? Well, it might not be just her knee, just so you all know, but let's just do this. Let me just have you face that way, Gargi. Okay. Are you okay if I press this a little bit? Can you show me your squat, Gargi? Do you feel this already? This portion? Maybe this portion is right here. Yeah, I can feel it too. This is like super tight. Yeah. So can I see your squat, Gargi, please? Good. Do you feel it here? Anything in your knee? No. Okay, come back up. Okay, let me see you stand. You guys are. Let me see you stand on your right foot. Yeah. So her shoulders are going 
Mm -hmm. Madison's fault today. <laughs> what do you guys notice with this one? A little different, right? She's leaning a little different. The knee is much straighter, right? Good. So with this knee, the hip has better control, right? She does lean a little bit over, which me, it, it tells me that there's some imbalances right versus left in her core, but the knee looks better. Her hip can control better things than this one. Hmm. My right leg is more stronger than the left. Let me explain. I'm doing something like um, the lunges also. I feel the right leg is more strong. The whole thing is more. Today it's hurting more. And I think that it's stronger when you're standing on this leg. Yeah. Your knee rolls in, but your body is much straighter. Okay. So you might feel stronger because your body is in a straighter position, but your knee is suffering because you don't have the control. Okay. So let me have you, um, let me have you on your... Uh, back, please. There you go. Oh, little, little feather, huh? I know. That's right. Oh, Puffy! Come on, Puffy! Gosh darn it, Puffy! So things that we would look at. Can you scoot up a little bit more, buddy? Maybe have a little. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Things that we look at is. Remember how the knee is a little triangle? Sometimes that knee. This is the right knee, which is perfect. It's supposed to be nice and straight. And I'm going to just guess and look at, oh, here's Gardy's knee. <laughs> Maybe not that bad, but it's like super tilted. Mm. Can you guys see the angle here? You want to bring some left knee, the left knee doesn't have quite that much mm. rotation. So what happens is when this is tilted that way, what's attaching here is all this, right? And that I too, then, so we're going to look at here. That actually moves okay. This one moves better. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. Can I move that? We're going to look at here. Okay. Olivia said laughing my ass off. So we're just going to look at hip stop. What is the, let it go. Uh-huh. That's okay. You say that it's tight, right? But guess what? What do you guys see? Which one's tighter? This one? Or this one? That one. Right? So you feel the tension of the muscles, but this one actually has less length. That tension could be a result. Oh yeah, this is super tight. <laughs> a result of all those muscles working way so hard. Are you okay? I promise you, you're not gonna fall. But you know what? It's the floating. She's fine. She'll point. live if she falls. But you're not, you guys can't see her hand like holding onto the table. I know, right? <laughs> Control freak. <laughs> it is absolutely. This hip's a little tight, so I'm looking at the hip mobility. Okay. If I push here, does that hurt? Compared to this one? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so, kneecap is a little stiffer. That kneecap doesn't move as well. So, in the back of the kneecap, we definitely have some pain coming from a, a result of the back of the kneecap feeling sleepy or being too close. Why? Maybe you don't have the control because you're shifted. You learn how to com com do that. Right? Compensate. Thanks. That's the word. Thank you, Robin. Compensate, yeah. Pain. When I do this, mm. yeah, that's not fine. So when I do this in the rotation, that's the rotation movement it. that I was talking about. That we're testing for meniscus issues. Mm. And just because that hurt, it doesn't mean oh my god, I have a meniscus tear or something. It just means that that's a little irritated, and we just mm. have to watch out. Remember, I said patellofemoral pain. 
but the whole hip is super tight. Yeah, it is tight. Mm -hmm. Which tells me it's possible that it could be coming from your back too. You could have a little bit of nerve irritability because you don't have that control there. And then that sciatic nerve right here where it's all tight yeah. could be involved. Hmm. That happens. Let me have you lay on your side. Any side, doesn't matter. Okay, she's giving you the better side. <laughs> I'm gonna stand, oh actually I'll stand here. Remember, let's do, actually let's do this. Face them, and then we'll flip the other way. There you go. This is still your better side. All right, so I'm looking at ankle, hip, everything's nice and lined up. Can you bring this leg up? And I promise you, I won't let you fall. Because like, <laughs> this feels kind of funny. Can you bring the leg up and back towards me? She's thinking about it. She mm. has to think about it because, but she's following directions. Nice job. <laughs> she's a smart one. Are you, are you holding on much over there? Good. Good. So she kind of initiated it. Good job. Can you hold it here? Are you? Yeah, nice job. Hold it. Don't let me push it. That is a strong hit. Thank you, Burn Boot Camp. Yup. Nice job. Awesome. Not tight. Let's do the other side. So what you're going to do, Guardi, is you're going to sit up and bring your head on this side. There we go. Let's see what happens on this side. Good. Let's see this one, up and back. I'm definitely not loading up the same muscle. Can you feel that? So uh, it's, she's lifting with this part of her hip. And if I bring her over, can you hold it there? Oh, she almost had, had this little, she's really working with all her back muscles. And I can't even, I'm, she's still lifting with that TFL, which is a little muscle that ends in the IT band. That's why this gets so tight because you're using all of this. So now I'm gonna shift you a little bit. Roll, engage your belly muscles, bring this arm right here. Bend everything, you're super cut, or super arched already. Can you hold the leg here? It's still, it's, I'm, I'm having a hard time just placing her because this is like, no, this is where I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> but I know how to change it. <laughs> Don't let me push it down. See, I can change the angle in which I push. This just wants to work really mm. badly. Interesting. What's on your belly, Guardian? Good. Are you okay here? So we're gonna go flexibility. Good. So the other thing to note is that ah. Oh jeez, you're cramping her up. Do you know what I'm noticing? <laughs> is that when I bend this knee, let it relax, Gardy. When I bend this knee, and you guys can't see too much from that angle, her whole pelvis shifts over there. Let it relax. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I do this one, there isn't, hmm. the, sh the pelvis just kind of arches a little bit, but stays nice and straight. And I can feel the tension coming from here. Nah. So let's see what happens with that. Now, what we tested on the side is the glute medius. That's the one that's super strong from doing all those lateral hops. Can you bring this leg up? This is glute max. Hold it. Use a little more, but her back muscles are working super hard and it wants to fall, doesn't it? Good, relax. And then what happens is her glute medius is so strong that it leans over, so you're definitely compensating with your glute medius over here to make up for the glute max. So medius side to side, max forward, backward, right? Max is the bigger one, max. That's like the nice, that's like the jump in the front of max. <laughs> that's what we're working on here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ready? Hold this one up. And what did you guys, I don't know if you can see, do you see how her leg comes out? Because mm. she's using all of this. Yeah. And then, guard <laughs> relax. Relax. You know I can sing very well. Let it go. <laughs> Can't hold it back anymore. That's what two daughters will do to you. <laughs> I, can sing I don't want to tell you what I sing with my two sons. So it's really hard <laughs> just to bring it to the center. She just has a lot of tightness over there. Like I can't even, can you hold it there? No. No, don't, don't fight me, glute medius. <laughs> and then look, she just shifted her whole back. 
back. It's like, no. Good. Relax. Good demo, Gargi. I'm impressed. Also, yeah. Yeah. So this is all this tight stuff. What would we do with hands on? We need to, in order to help your knee, Gargi, we have to work on the hip. Okay? You just want to take a peek okay. at the ankle. Her ankle is actually a little bit stiffer. It, same thing as the hip. It wants to roll in, but if I put it a little bit more neutral, it doesn't bend in the mm. same way. Hmm. That could be your parents. Ooh, blaming them again. Yikes. <laughs> so, in order to help Gardy with her knee pain, we need to work on the tightness of her hip, which is like super fun, isn't it, right now? <laughs> 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 no, she loves pain. You should see her in here. <laughs> but this is the biggest issue here for you, Gardy. The pre I'm pressing and it's painful. Let me go. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course it feels better because it releases it, right? But then you go back and you come and you work out and you shift the position. Okay, go ahead, let me have you sit up, please. There you go, lay on your back. Okay. See, this is actually, do you feel that stretch back there? Okay, so, good, go ahead and sit up. So, in the finish. Go ahead, come on. Good job, Gargi. Beautiful. Beautiful. An applause for showing us her best side. <laughs> so, before you guys leave, I'm going to tell you, how do you do knee tanks successfully? Okay? We find the cause. It doesn't matter. Yeah, great. Come to me. Fine. But find the cause. I don't care where it goes. Stop ignoring it. Right? Find the cause. Because we want to find the root cause. But you have to address the symptoms, and you can do that at the same time. Just because it hurts doesn't mean that you can't start working, okay? We're going to do manual physical therapy. So loosening that up, moving the kneecap, moving the hip joint. That's hands-on physical therapy. But it's also movement re-education, teaching the proper squatting, teaching you not to cheat with other muscles, which is totally, you don't need to, okay? And then we can also speed up healing rates by using deep tissue laser, by using some other anti-inflammatory It's like, you can also do a little bit of ice. Um, and what else are we gonna do? We're gonna do exercises to stabilize and stretch and strengthen the hip, okay? Strengthen the hip, knee, and ankle, okay? And we're gonna properly train with a program and a trainer, okay? For your age, level, gender, history, and even though a burn is like a big happy family, you still, you guys need to communicate with your trainer. Tell them what's going on, because then they'll know how to help you manage things and change little pieces of the workout um, that can help you still do your workout. So, just the end. Guys, I love it. Did you guys get your money's worth? Yes, hopefully. Ashley, I'm going to ask your question after John is done. Um, but like I said, I started my own practice for a reason. Um, but get it addressed. Start by looking into it and maybe play around with your form during your camp to see if that can calm down, right? Um, foam roll, that butt of yours over there. Mm -hmm. Really look to, to do something a little bit in front of the mirror. So maybe just practice a little standing in no pain. You should have any pain. I actually have a, I have a question from Facebook from Ashley. She asked to go over real quick the correct squat form because her Facebook was cutting out. Oh, okay. We'll do that. Who did that? Who's and that was it. Everyone. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'll, I'll read the next question. Um, Sean, could knee pain be because of sidewalk versus floating floor? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. She signed off, but... Yeah. Or get a couple of yoga mats and jump on top of the yoga mats. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, so the other thing that we're doing for you guys kind of to come here and sat through this whole talk and squat <laughs> all that time. It's fun to watch television. That's how to do it too. Um, is that as part of the, the being a, a part of the Berman family and the relationship that we have with Fluid Physio and coming in here, um, you guys can have a discovery visit. So basically what that is, is free 30 minutes assessment. Because a lot of people, oh, will say things just like, they ask me, oh, but I don't know, it hurts when I go up, and it's like, okay, 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 okay. But I don't know, it could be all kinds of stuff. So I want to make sure that I address your issues. And so with the discovery visit, it's a free 30 minutes, you call up Amber, or you schedule before you leave. It's at the time that's convenient for you and for me. Um, just show up in that office. Um, and then we really look at what is your issue? What is the root cause? And then, okay, do I think you need PT? Do I think that maybe you just try this, right? Um, and figure out if it, if it is PT, maybe I think it could be these many sessions, or maybe not. One of the things that at, at Fluid Physio is we stay out of network with insurances, so that that's kind of why I started, because I would be with four people. And now I just work with one person at a time. I don't, um, insurance is kind of between you and your insurance. The treatment is between you and me. Um, so you come in, we address your issues, and if you have out-of-network benefits, then you can certainly um, get that money back because you pay for it. How easy was your call? A call just called to find active benefits. How easy was their call for you? Very easy. Easy. Yeah. I have a form that you can just read to the person on the phone and then you know exactly what it is. Cool. Um, some people, it's, they cover 70%, so people cover 90%, but there's co-insurance and deductible, and I don't understand it. I don't want to play that game. <laughs> it's true it's true because it does it does and the, you get good time with you and you actually get better because of it it's not a quick 15 in and out it's a game changer oh okay care credit cool cool Right. But it's not new value. So, but thank you for bringing that up. Because uh, it could be something like, oh, but it's only a couple of sessions. And then it's something like questions you can ask me. Because that's my job. Oh! oh. Wow! Neat! Look at that. Amber, Beautiful helper. I do. One, one more from Facebook. Can the knee pain be from flat foot arches from Anna? Thank you. We are going to go shopping at Athletic. Now, if they want to do a discovery, can they just schedule it with Amber today? Oh, perfect. Okay, that's easy. Because <laughs> you're here. <laughs>
Right. Or you can do it. Someone called Amber who picks up the phone during the week decides that she wants to go on vacation for the whole week with her husband. <laughs> I mean, like, over what? So she can go on vacation, I see. So if you don't pick up, if someone doesn't pick up the phone, because um, we have another physical therapist, Ian, he's also an animal therapist. Um, but so just leave us a message and, and that. Or you can okay, cool. right now, send a message right now, too. We can schedule right now if you're on cool. Facebook. Perfect. Thanks, Jonah. All right. Thank you for ha- for being here. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Feel free to type any other questions in the chat, and we can always email or call you to answer them, okay? Same for you, Facebook. We look... We'll annoy you whenever we want. We'll just be like, hey, Donna, hey, Donna. I just feel bad for you your next leg day when Paul gets to make you squat for as long as he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Cherie, can you type your question in, please? I didn't see it before. Absolutely. Thanks, Jonna. Cherie says she has a question, but she just typed, I have a question. So I don't, I, I could make one up. <laughs> yeah, all day. Yeah, that's a positive. That's definitely a positive. Oh, no. <laughs> that no, he like hoards Altoids in his area. It's serious. Yeah. I love it. Okay. If you do have questions, no, you know where to find us. Don't be shy. All right, guys, we're gonna sign off. Bye. Bye. Nice See you all Monday. Thank you. Later, guys. Shree, if you just want to type your question, I'll ask Jonna and she can answer it privately. Okay. Sounds good, guys. If you want to schedule a discovery session, which is like a free thirty minutes, so she can assess you personally. Um, We've got Amber here. Hello. So um, maybe we can put the info in the chat for everybody. All right. And then um, you guys can call up or email and they'll get you all hooked up. All right, guys. Have a great Saturday. Later. Come hang out with us at Athleta.